Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jeanette's Beauty World and I'm Jeanette. I'm here to talk about makeup, do makeup try-ons, do subscription box unboxings, mystery box unboxings, makeup hauls, whatever I can think of beauty-wise and figure out how to film for you guys. Today I've got another makeup haul. <laughs> it's been a few weeks, you know, you know I got some new stuff and if you want to see what I got, keep on watching. all right welcome back to my channel everybody so happy you stopped by so glad you decided to click on this video to check it out if you're new here welcome consider watching till the end and subscribing before you leave hit that notification bell so youtube lets you know when i post new videos leave me a comment leave me a like my current subscribers welcome back so happy to see you all again and don't forget to leave me a comment everybody <coughs> sorry Okay, so let's get into this makeup haul for the month. Um, I'm going to start out with something it's uh, I've never shown for. I, I got some nail polish. I usually go and get gel polish put on, but you know, I, I've changed places like two or three times, you know, and they just, they don't listen to me. And it, I think it's a language barrier because, you know, um, and, which is fine, but when I, when I want something and I tell them what I want and they act like they know what I'm talking about and then they don't do it, I, I get upset. I get upset. So the last time I got my nails done, it was not at all what I wanted. And I was just like, forget it. I was like, you know what? I'll go for my pedicures because I have to get my toes done by somebody else, you know? And it's, you can't mess it up. I don't do gel polish. I just do regular polish. And I'm going to start doing my nails. Even though I hate doing my own nails because I don't do a good job. <laughs> I don't do a good job. You know? So I just said, you know, I've got some new polishes from OPI. And then I went on to What's Up Beauty. Because uh, I have a couple of their palettes, you know. They're, and they're an indie brand. At, and they're here in Arizona. I think they're up in Scottsdale or something like that. But they're here in Arizona. But they have nail polishes. So I went on their site and I picked up a couple of polishes. <clears throat> Let me see. So this is Emile de Mali. There's two different shades here. And there's just like sparkly, duochromy, multi-chromy type of shades. And then there's their brand, What's Up Beauty. Okay, and I th it looks like really dark in the bottle, greenish. It looks totally different on my hands, and it changes. I think it changes like when your hands are hot and cold. Right now, they're really dark, but sometimes they look like a lighter pink and purple. So, <laughs> but I, I don't do a really good job, you know, but I figure <clears throat> the more I do it, the better I'll get, hopefully. All right, so this one is called Pump the Ranks, and it is a thermal nail polish. There we go. Okay, so that's kind of, it looks, you know, if it changes colors while I'm filming, I'll show you. But, <laughs> interesting, right? And this one is the Dragon King. So pretty. And then this one, it looks like bluish, pinkish, purpley. Deny everything. Okay. And then I picked up a couple of bases. This one you can, um, like if you want to do ombre nails, you can put this on the skin on either side of your nails. And then you can just peel off <laughs> the excess nail polish. And then this is just a base coat from What's Up Nails. Thought I'd try that out. So let's see how that goes, right? <laughs> so then um, I did a small um, Sephora haul. Picked up three things. <clears throat> 
This is the other, um, if you watch my Ipsy box, I got an add-on with this Dew Wet Balm from Danessa Myricks. I got in that one, I got the Rose Water. This one is Sweet Water is the shade. And that's what the shade looks like. And I just, I love the Rose Water. I use it all the time. So I thought I'd get another shade of it because I just love the product. Look at that. Yeah. So, got another shade of that. This is the, uh, I've told you all that I got the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops. And that's what that looks like. And when you pump this out, it, here, I'm going to show you. It looks dark. Why is it not focusing when I get close? There we go. Look how dark that looks. But when you rub it in, it just kind of blends right out and gives you a nice glowy. Yeah, and it looks beautiful on the skin under my makeup. Yeah, so I've used this a few times. And then I got, I wanted to try this because I got this when I did my Charlotte Tilbury um, order. I got the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Okay, comes with a big old doe foot. And that's what she looks like. So then I decided I wanted to get the e.l.f. Glow Liquid Filter. I mean, look. <laughs> yeah. We're, they're not duping. I mean, down to... The, and I think the doe foot's even bigger. <laughs> I'm going to put them next to each other. So they're a different shade. You can see that. Ooh, that was quite... <laughs> That was loud. What is this shade? Let me get out. I got my little magnifying glass so I can see these things. This shade is, almost have it, light medium. Yes, light medium tint three. Okay, so that's the e.l.f. And the Charlotte Tilbury is too fair pale. Oh, so maybe I just I got different shades, but let me show you. So the darker one is the elf, and that's the Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte's does look a little glowier, doesn't it? That's Charlotte Tilbury. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, this this is the dew. This is the do, <laughs> the Danessa Myricks. That's the elf, and that's the Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte's, Charlotte's does look a little glowier, doesn't it? All right. So there's that. So I, I think I'm wearing the elf one today underneath my makeup. But that was my little Sephora haul. And then I actually won a giveaway. And let me show you what I won. It was Sydney Grace on Facebook. She did a giveaway on Facebook, you know, you, you, you comment and share and whatever. And I won. <laughs> I was so surprised. So she mailed me some stuff. Oh, I'm just going to clean all this off my hands. And she sent me two eyeshadows. So let's take these out and show you. This is like a blue color. This is called Pensacola. These are pressed pigments. Look how pretty that is. Here's Pensacola. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Oh, that is very pretty swatched out. Let me do the other one and then I'll bring in a close up. This one is called Swing Dance and it this is in a mat. That's what that looks like. Beautiful. Love me some Sydney Grace. 
really want to try that blue one. Look how pretty that is. All right. All right, sorry, I had to sneeze. So I thought I would swatch the others. I got five of her cream shadows. And so I swatched them all. I'll bring it in a little closer. Okay, so I'm gonna start from this side and tell you the shades. So the first one is called Sunset Glow. Look how pretty that is. And the second one is called Warm Glow. Beautiful. And then the third one, the one in the middle, is called Candlelight. They're so shiny. I like shiny, glowy. The fourth one, uh, over here, is called Wedding Bells. And then the fifth one is called Fireside Glow. And look at the shine on those. They are so pretty. So the pigments and five cream shadows. They're just beautiful. So thank you, Sydney Grace. I certainly appreciate winning some of your cream shadows because I do like your cream shadows. And I have quite a few of them because I got a bunch of your monthly boxes and mystery boxes and a couple advent calendars. Yes, like me some Sydney Grace. All right, my next order was from Glam Light. They had a sale. <laughs> Say no more, am I correct? They had a sale on a bunch of their palettes and I haven't bought from them in a while, I realize. I bought the, I think the last one I bought was the Strawberry Shortcake palette and I still have yet to use that. Um, but I have like the Martini, Chocolate Martini, those four. And I have the Frosted Flakes. I got them over there because they're just such cute packaging. And the Hershey's Kisses when they were in the Hershey Kiss shape ones. But I haven't bought anything since then. So it's been at, at least a year. At least a year. So, you know, so all the um, Halloween palettes have come out. All that. So, and I didn't buy any of them. <laughs> I abstained and did not buy any of them. They were on sale. So let me show you what I got. So first I got the Hershey's Milk Chocolate Palette. The other one wasn't available, but yeah, Hershey's Milk Chocolate. And I'm just gonna show you these because I know there's tons of videos out there, people wearing these and all that, but let me tell you what I got, got it for. This palette I got for $10, okay? Yeah, and the shades are just numbered with the shade saver, 1 through 12, but yeah, ah, a nice chocolate palette. All right, and then I got the Scooby-Doo Rut Row Raggy 10 shade palette. Let me show you, and it, I would have liked to get the other 10 shade palette too, but they only had this one, but that's okay. That's okay. It's got greens and purples. And I'm all about the greens and purples, right? And this palette was $10. Let's just, we, ha we have to do a couple of these shimmers. So we have to do a purple shimmer. And let's do a green shimmer. And then there's like these grungy greens. But this yeah, is the formula that I remember loving. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and again, these are just numbered one through ten. Well, I'm the shade saver. There's no names for these shades. But so then I got that. So then I got the Glam Light, A Nightmare on Elm Street, <clears throat> Freddy Krueger palette. And this is what this is a really dark grungy green palette yeah <laughs> so I can really make a green look let's do that in the blue let's just do a couple of these shimmers yeah 
It's so pretty. I just, yeah. They do have a wonderful formula. So the Nightmare in Elm Streets, these were, this was $10. <laughs> so can you see why I, I couldn't resist the sale? When I've resisted for so long. And <laughs> then there's Ghostface Lives, a 15 color palette. And look at that. Look how cute. This one does that too. The lenticular thing. Where it changes. And I remember Nightmare on Elm Street. I grew up with that. You know. Um, the ghost face scream. I, I didn't really follow them. I think I saw the first one. But then I never really followed any of the others. It wasn't a big. But look at this. It says ghost face lives on the pan embossings. And this is like a gray cool tone palette so and I don't think I have anything like this in my collection I didn't get the xenon palette from Natasha Denona was not interested in that I don't even have the what is it called smoky or something from Colourpop I don't even have that um so this is where are we Ghostface Lives this was twelve dollars I mean <laughs> you know and there's even there's like silvery, purpley, bluey. Yeah, let's just. And this one's even a little green. This one's a little purple. Yeah. There. Yeah. I said I was just going to show you, and here I am swatching. But I'm just swatching a couple from each one. So those are pretty. You know, I can do a nice neutral look for work for, with this. Then I got, <clears throat> only because I kept hearing how great this palette is. I'm like, eh. This is the Garfield palette. Okay, that's what the cover looks like. And that's what the color story looks like. Like Angelica Nequis says, this is a fabulous palette. So I'm like, so I guess I could do kind of a neutral look for, with this. There's some browns and oranges. There's the one red, lasagna. A little dusty blue in there. So, but let's look at a couple of these shimmers. This Abu Dhabi. It's like an orange shimmer. Heart of Gold. Nap Attack. Teddy Bear. So those are the shimmers there. Let's see. Let's go here. And they do have a beautiful formula. It just pops right on my hand. So that's a different kind of color story. And where are we? Garfield. Ten dollars. Yeah. Pretty. It is pretty. And then I had one more, the Friday, Friday the 13th Camp Crystal Lake 15 pan palette. And look, look at the packaging on this one. It's in a like, if I can get it open, this little box. And then it's inside here. I got another lenticular cover. And this was, where are we? $15. So this was the most expensive palette. $15. You're all like, you are crazy, Jeanette. Buying all these palettes, you don't have time to wear all these palettes. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> One at a time. Um, yeah. This is another dark, moody kind of palette. It's got some blood red in there, some black. Here's a nice silver. It says Jake, Jason loves, lives, oves, Jason something. But let's look at these shimmers. Here's a blue. Here's another kind of green. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's silver. These are a little different. They're more, um, oh, I don't know. How do you explain it? But they're, they're pretty. They're pretty. I think they're like a little different formula, but they are beautiful. So let's let you see. There's Garfield. There's Jason. There's some from the others. Yeah, just their formula is beautiful. You know, I don't. <laughs> so I did one, two, three, four, five, six palettes. Oh, yeah, I didn't swatch the Hershey's palette. I was like, what am I missing? <laughs> didn't do the Hershey's palette, but that's okay. So that was my Glam Light order that I did. All right, I have three more palettes. They each came from a separate indie brand. So this, this brand I've never bought anything from before, but um, they just came out with something recently. But So I thought, let me look, and their Warriors Wear Pink palette was on sale for $24. This is the Gourmand Girls. Okay, and they are vegan. So maybe I can try this pink palette because it's vegan. Because, you know, they're changing the rules or something where... When they're not vegan, I'm allergic. You know, I get the, the allergies. But look at that. So I've never used this brand before. So, so this will be the first time. It has a black and this like nudie color. Some light ones here to lighten things up. Pinks and purples and reds. And look at these shimmers. Let's see. So we got Dreams. Ooh, that's a soft... And then we got, is this Cielo? These are a little more flaky than like the Glam Light ones. But uh, Familia, so three. So it's just three shimmers. The rest are mattes. And this is a 15 pan palette. But that's okay. Sometimes it's hard to pick the shimmers you want to use when you have so many choices. Okay, so those are the shimmers. Look at that. They are pretty. Yeah. Let's do a couple of the mattes since I've never tried this formula before from this brand. Let's just see. Ooh, dry. Let's see. Syria. This is like a bright pink. Let's do this purple one piece. Well, that's pretty. Then life. It's like a red to red brick color. Um, let's do the one of the lighter ones. Let's do this lavender called Brave. <clears throat> and just see how that goes. All right, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so that is the Gourmand Gore Girls Warriors Wear Pink Palette. All right, then I got my pre-order in from Unearthly Cosmetics. Now, I ordered this on New Year's Eve when she had a sale. And I got Sorcerer's Smoke for 50% off on a pre-order. And I finally got it last week. Haven't had a chance to open it yet. <laughs> this is how they come. And there she is, the Sorcerer's Smoke. So this will probably be the next one I play with. And uh, get some like stuff together for Instagram or YouTube short. So that's the box. Here's the palette. Let's take her out. And you know I love me some unearthly cosmetics. Had to get it. I mean, I, I first I didn't because I'm like, gosh, you know, it's so neutral, you know, and I love her all her colors, but then I've just everybody just raves about this. 
even though it's neutral it's a special it is a special neutral palette and it's 12 shades so it looks like she's half and half so like the shimmers go up and down like that look at that nightshade Ooh, this little little grungy green in here gold brown charcoaly let's see what nightshade looks like it almost looks like it's got a purple in it so that's nightshade ritual let's see let's do this greeny one transfixed and vervain yeah their formula oh look at look at that let me get the other two shimmers i have to show you all at once because oh i am so glittery <laughs> i'm so glittery <laughs> potent and sorceress There she is. Those are all the shimmers in this palette. Oh, they're just beautiful. Let's get a couple mattes. So the, here's Soot. Intention. Prophecy. Vision. And hang on. Put them right there. Just two more. The greeny colored ones is herbal and eucalyptus. I'll put them up top here. It's on the knuckle. <laughs> Yeah, that's grungy green for sure. You see that? So this is a... Yeah, this is a neutral palette with a twist that's very special. I can't wait to play with this. I can't wait. This is very exciting. Ah, I've waited so long for this, you know, because I got it last week, like mid-March, and I ordered it New Year's Eve, and I waited so long, but I finally got it. Yeah. So I'm going to be playing with that. That's the next one. Now, the, my last palette. It's what's on my eyes today. The Cyborg palette from Adept Cosmetics. Now, you know I love me some Adept Cosmetics. And I'm not going to swatch it right here because I just, I swatched it earlier today. And um, I'll put up here in just a minute um, a little video of the swatches I did. And I took pictures before I touched it. But look how beautiful that is. All those shifty, multi chromy beautiful shades five mattes on the bottom very nice i used four out of these five the only one i didn't use was this blue one but i used the other four and i used quite a few how many shimmers did i use i used robo rose on my bottom i used digital harmony cybernetics did i use cybernetic spark voltage violet oh and that cyber symphony that's what's in here I don't think I use Cybernetic Spark. That'll be next time. And Pixelated Pulse. It just swatches beautifully. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. So let me bring in my eyes. Look, look at that. Look at that. That Cyber Symphony on my inner <laughs> lid. 
it just blew me away when I put it when I first packed it on because I used NYX glitter glue before I put any of the shimmers on and then I um, used kind of a flat brush and took I, and I put some sh shadow on and then sprayed them and just kind of packed them on and yeah and that's the Unearthly Cosmetics uh, eyeliner it's in like that pink liquid liner that, that came in the Valentine's box but yeah but look at that so that's what's on my eyes today this is what I played with today and I had so much fun playing with this palette cyborg choir highly it's I think it's $79 but if you get a discount code and get $10 off um, always love the packaging it's like this faux leather packaging it says adept cosmetics on the back there but all of her palettes are with this like faux leather um packaging yeah and that was it yeah that's all the stuff i bought this month <laughs> and i won and i won oh you know all that stuff from sydney grace so that's cool is my sorcerer of smoke ah oh, yeah and um i'll make sure yeah it, sh it should have already shown the swatches from the cyborg choir and that's all i got for you so let me know what you think did you guys get any of this stuff did you hit the glam white sale when they had that let me know i want to know and that's all i got for you for this video and the next time i make videos i got a promotion at work i start next week so kind of excited about that so my my schedule is going to change a little bit, but I'm still going to post. Don't worry. I'm still going to post because I love making these videos for you guys. But um, I'm very excited. I got a promotion at work. And yeah. <laughs> so that's what we got. All right, guys. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.